Buenos dias, buenas noches. Hello and welcome. We are here in Antiquira. And let me tell you, it is very, very windy. Very windy indeed. You will hear all the wind coming through. We'll be doing what we can to bring it to you without wind, but it is what it is. And uh, so we will do what we can. So this is excitement, isn't it? excitement it's now the start of the playoffs this is the bit we've been waiting for all year just this and we're not as high as we would like to be but that's because it's too windy for scaffold health and safety is very very important as you i know you're all shouting out going of course it is and uh but here we go the girls are already and we got some good fun facts and figures on them today so looking forward to sharing that with you so all looking very, very good. Very good indeed. And as I say, it's well windy there. And just there they go. Here they come. Oh, in a great level, we've got little mascots. The drums go in. Gear the horns. Yes, here we go, girls. There we go. Looking splendid. The playoffs for the second Andalusia region. Woo woo woo! This is a two legged playoff. And obviously, this is the first one. Hello, girls! Woo! Turn our way and clap. Clap to the world. Clap to Richard. Right, let's have a quick look at our team, shall we? Let's see how the squad is lining up. So, oh no, I'll tell you what. Let's do a little, because there'll be time. Let's do a quick, like, shake hands thing. Can't do anything about the uh, how they spray the, the water onto the pitch. And that is a bit of artistic creative bit. You see, what you get there is a bit out of focus. Right, because it focuses on the near thing but not the far, which is why sometimes we can't film on the uh, through the netting, and it's Parker with that. You're doing that. Big hug, well done, let's go. Right, okay, so Ellie will come nice and wide for me, and I'm now going to, while they do their picture, I'm going to stick the team up. There we go. So, in goal, Madalena Spagnola, Tiara Lachlan, Maddie North, Mike, Mikey Rams, Parker Lee making up probably what's going to be the uh, defence there. And then um, we've got Hannah Reynolds, Lorena Badera, Isabella Viana, Adi Galek, Katie Lampen, Taylor Christensen. On the bench, Ellie Wilson, Caroline O'Reilly, Sophia Laderosa, Maya Ridge, Ellie Paris, Sky Lewis, and Evelyn Salsa, coached by the amazing Miguel Aquino. So that's how we're looking. So. We're, uh, as I say, not as high as we'd like to be, but it's well windy. I use the word well. It is very, very windy. As we say, it's blowing a hoolie. So, we won't see the kickoff because it's going to happen behind the thing. But believe me, you'll, know, you'll see it when we you'll know what's going to be happening anyway. There we go. So, we are underway. Early days, Spagnolo's got some work to be done. Look at the wind blowing up there. That's why the scaffold, that's why we are just pinned down with the one camera today. It's so windy. Job Ram says hello from the Netherlands. Good luck, girls. Great to have you on board. Thank you very much, as always. Can you hear the, can you hear the bell drums, Fernando? You can hear him in the background there. Well, it's a horn, look how windy it is. So it makes me think that 
we might see a couple of worldies from distance. The wind gets behind it. Girls looking already, already looking to attack, get involved. Come on, girls, push on early. This is what the whole season's been about. Nerves will be coming in, especially in this wind where you can go any way. Now, remember what Brian Clough said. God didn't put grass in the clouds, so you don't play football up there. Today, the ball has got to stay on the ground. There's no other options. Tiara Lachlan in here at left back. Back to... Marilena Spagnolo, which will take her time. <coughs> Excuse me. And the wind is going left to right. So, and as we said, it's blowing a hooli. Lorena Badera getting in there. So, Andy Quira, uh, the way that it works is that you've got the two leagues. So, we played in the Estepona League last, this year, which is kind of like the uh, not the Malaga League. It's just the one further to the left. And now we're playing the team that finished fourth in the Malaga League, which is the league that we played in last year. So you get my drift. So you play home and away. That will be the 1-4 uh, and 1 um, versus 4, 2 versus 3. And then the winners of that, so that will be us, will then play the winners of the other one. That's on a two-legged. And then the winners of that go, um, which I believe is just a one-legged final. Oh, then we'll have a little free kick there. Thank you. Taylor Christensen just taken out there. And she's getting right in front there, straight away. But while I was showing you that, they've given the free kick the other way, and as you saw from the ref, not quite sure why, but not for me to uh, ask the question. Look at that running away. Not a lot you're going to be doing with that, is there? Try and build it from the back, O'Reilly. So going to have to really... <coughs> trying to get it upfield not really going to work. And trying to keep everything happening. Hannah Reynolds, part of that triumvirate front three that scores goals for fun. There's Taylor Christensen chasing it down. Taylor Christensen, only got one trick in her book, and that's putting the ball in the back of the net. It's a horrible habit to have. So I'm going to give you some uh, stats in a minute, and I reckon, and I'll be quickly doing my little checkup, that the front three have got more goals than the the Liverpool front three, the Spurs front three. This season got to be the most productive front three in European football at the moment. All about Spagnola. There's going to be a lot of that. In, and Spagnola's not going to be able to do too much sweeper keeper in. That's going to be dead, sir. Look at that. Back it comes. And C 
Martina all the way back. Safely, Maddie North, who captained the other day. Parker Lee captain the day, but all these players get a chance to show their ability. Because when you're captaining, you have to take on other responsibilities as well. You have to make sure that you conduct yourself correctly. You have to make sure that the other team know all about you. You have to make sure all the players have the right drinks afterwards, do the rundown. You buy the food that night to make sure everybody's sorted. Well, that was just me anyway, and my... So generous in my offerings. So, we've all been waiting all year for this to happen. And now we're here. Cuddy Goat, can you turn the wind down? Do you know what? Let's have a listen. A bit windy, isn't it? We'll go down a little bit. Can't turn the wind down. I can turn it down a little bit, and then there we go, just have more of me. We'll see how that goes. We'll see what everybody else thinks as well. So, and to queer a chance to launch one in. And just cut out right at the front. Nothing happening there. Reynolds. Trying to get it going with Viana. And now Reynolds pushing through. Christensen's in the op an option in the middle. She's not going to be looking for the cross. That's a dead set. And out is pushed. But we're making ground already. Confusion, but Christensen was there. Look at this for a good ball. Oh, wrong replay. Here we go, this is the one. There we go. That was it. A little flick on there from Christensen. That's the bit I knew I was remembering, and ah, that shot didn't come to anything. But good start, good start. <laughs> Robin Viana, good morning, parents from Cali. Let's get our first win today. And Cuddy Goat said, let's go, Bella. Matthew Wilkinson, let's go, Bella. Hey, Robin. So, Robin Viana, you spell your own name with an I, and then Matthew Wilkinson spells your name with a Y. You need to sort that out there. We need some clear understanding of the spellings of names. Especially when it's your friends. Come on, hurry up. I'm trying to think what team plays in... Uh, there's, a, there's a Portuguese team that plays in this colours, isn't there? It always reminds me of a uh, Spearman Pacer um, suite that when we were younger and it was like this colourway. Some of the older viewers might remember that. Pacers. Oh, play. Just get in there and flick on, flick on. Cleared. And Rebecca R. Go, Hannah. That's Rebecca R. For Reynolds. Go, Hannah. Mum watching in North Carolina. Get some lovely correspondence from parents. Got some lovely correspondence from a parent in the week. Complimenting the, uh, the commentary and all the information we got on the girls and that we bring it out. Well, that's because we're giving it by the girls. And uh, the more information we get about them, we will bring that. So if you have any players and you think he doesn't talk about them a lot, that's because they haven't filled out their little info sheet. And chance to push on. Oh, 
18 strong squad today. Remember the girls have only conceded three goals in the league all season. That's the lowest and the next lowest. It was my age a few years ago, 18. That's how good it is. And you learn things about the girls like, there we go, you see, that was Addy, collect, not AD, it's Addy. Because we read their phonetic spelling of the names, it's really good. North Star Cleaning! Just up the road in front in Spain. Go Maddie for mum, dad, brother Keanu and his girlfriend Jamie, who have flown out for Valencia especially. Well, Jamie, flown out just for the game. That's impressive. You can listen to it all the way around the world, but fly there for it. Really, really good. We are just north of Granada. So from the Estepona base, north of Malaga, I should say. Yeah, forget that. Pretend I didn't say that. North of Malaga. So from the Estepona base, it's about an hour. And from the holy city of Almineca, it's about an hour. Right in the bang in the middle. And not quite on a hill, but it's incredibly, incredibly windy. Addy. Battling back and Parker Lee, make sure there's no problems. I mentioned head coach Miguel Aquino stepped up from the assistant coach to take over from Jose Herrera, who we had earlier in the season, because we're good here, and he got the opportunity to be the assistant coach of the first division team, Granadilla Tenerife. In the Canary Islands, go hard life, innit? Who are currently fourth in the first division. So, congrats, Jose. I'm sure you're looking in, watching the girls with interest. So, great to have you. Interest. Now, this is going to be interesting because this is just going to be swinging straight in there. I personally, I'd go for the just in swing right on the keeper. Let the wind do it all. Unlike that. Yeah. Eddie clears, finds Lampen. The third of the trio, Reynolds, Lampen, Christensen. The pressure's being put on. There's Reynolds chasing it up, pushing them back. Clear, but Reynolds gone, lob them. Oh, now Christensen, she could go early first time. Doesn't quite grab it. But you see the idea here from the girls. Pressing, pressing. There, there's the reward straight to Christensen. And I think she. So just to curl that in and over. Mar Centres Perez. Thank you for making contact. It's in Spanish. I will translate shortly. So I get caught out with that and start saying some very naughty words that people put me up to. Can you believe it? I had somebody called Ben Dover contact me the other day. You see, you've got to be careful. And he's right now, Reynolds. North Star Clean is putting the Sunday roast on hold till after the match. Sunday roast in Valencia. I'm not quite sure it's got the same ring to it. I had a nice Sunday roast. Oh, clip. Oh, play on, says ref. Christensen bringing players in all the time. Tries the one two with Galek. Remember the girls went undefeated. Oh, there's ball in behind, but that's it's, it's always going to be very difficult with those balls. The girls went undefeated in the regular season. Isabella GS Vamos Parks, Parker Lee, undefeated in the regular season, 122 goals and conceded three. And even I can tell you that's plus 119 in the goal difference. And the next highest team was 56. So over double. So that was their dominance in the league. In the front three, that triumvirate, as I mentioned. 65 goals in total between the three of them. Careful, Hannah. Take it easy. 
25 from Christensen, 21 from Reynolds, 19 from Lampen. 20 games, 65 goals. That's three point something. So now I know Taylor didn't play in the first lot of games. She missed the first eight, she's played in 12. So that's 2.1 goals per game. Woo woo! Bill, go girls, number 24, that's Isabella. Now Mar Sanchez Perez says, Vamos, Antequera. It doesn't matter where you're from, who you're supporting, we'll give you a shout out. We'll be incredibly biased, but we'll still give you a shout out. Always happy to hear from you. And uh, Mar Sencha said, let's go into Quera, team of my life, supporting from Barcelona. I love you team, the shirt I'm wearing is glue to my skin. Oh, like it. It's got a nice ring to it, isn't it? Well done, passionate there. Bill and Betty from North Carolina. Cleared away. I mean, it's gonna be non-stop defending in this uh, With this wind, as I say, no way the uh, scaffold was going up in this. Nice through ball, but no, it just didn't quite come off. Picked up the free kick though. Everything is tied down at the moment. So will the ball stay long enough for a free kick? No, it won't. Push him back. Christensen, back to goal. So good at holding the ball and I'm just bringing others into play. I said she's only got one trick finds the back of the net all the time. Obviously that's the habit, she's got one habit, just scores goals. But the other side of her game is the way she brings everybody in. Francisco, Francisco from Dalba Arreo. Says, vamos Antiquera, you can, ustedes, Podels, as I absolutely murdered the Spanish language. All the way back to Marolina, only conceded one goal all season. The other two was when she wasn't in there. That's not bad, went for a trial as well with a, uh, a Liga team. It was Italy, I think, she went. Out it goes. Job says, is it a warm or cold wind? It's not cold, Job, but I'd rather it wasn't there. It's a jacket and it's not cold, but it ain't warm. It's not a cold wind. It's not one of those northwesterlies that come in and we all, uh, you know, Freeze in the train stop. Well, I don't know what they do in the Netherlands, but they do in England. Back we go to Marilena. Jane Clark, let's go Malaga. Kiora, 5 a.m. from a rainy New Zealand. Taylor C. from Pete and J Auntie Jane. A rainy New Zealand. The England cricket team is out there. I know you don't want to talk about the moment. We just, just beat you. We've won one out of four now, so we're doing all right. Oh, well played, girls. It's all coming together really well there. Katie Lampen just couldn't keep it under there. Now Reynolds, 
back across. Oh, nobody really read it, but Galek is chasing it down, but the keeper picks it up. But good move from the girls. And Robin says, is that Vicky, the wonderful photographer I see? It certainly is, and uh, we'll get her on camera for you at one point when we get a chance. When there's a little stop in play. So the way the streams come from to you, they, they actually, uh, it's all done via 4G. That's the that's the techie side of it. Oh, I've got to be careful with that. And uh, it picks up a tower and we, we direct it and we push it all in. It's so windy the day. And that's why you're getting a little stutters every now and again. That we monitor it and we can see that it's just being pushed to different towers. And I know that sounds really weird, but it's kind of like, that's too heavy through there, well played, unlucky. Just a bit heavy. So the wind is really playing havoc, even with our, with our, uh, with our kit, as we try and keep everything tied down. The amazing Ellie Brett is doing everything she can to try and uh, stand upright. <laughs> Christian, oh, Christensen's done well getting the other side. Rainy New Zealand is jumping at the moment. Tries to play it through, doesn't quite find. Viana, now there's some defending to be done, and back there is Tiara. Remember at the international from Gibraltar, just down the road. And uh, obviously looking to carry on a good trend earlier today, the seniors, that was a stream we bought you earlier, they won 2-1. Yeah, so the, sorry, the seniors won 2 1, and the under 23s, that was the stream we bought you. They unfortunately lost 1 0. Last, Last minute penalty, can you believe it? Eh? Go back and watch it. But in the meantime, here's going to be the first goal. No! That should have been the first goal. Looked like Viana was going to find the back of that, but she squared it, and Christensen couldn't quite get there. And then an offside. Viana's done really well getting around the back. I thought she might have a pop, but that was a good ball into Christensen, but the Christensen with the other side.
Maddy having chased that ball all the way down. Stopped at the gate, or the next stop was Valencia. Now Reynolds. Oh, just trying to Christian Simic. Not in a stride, she comes back for it. Wins the throw. Ah, oh, good turn by Christensen. Being pushed around, but aggressively gets it across. Now Viana, now Gallic. Oh, unlucky. But there it was, there was a chance. Started by Christensen. Well tapped on there from Viana, and Gallic just couldn't get on the end of it. Encouraging stuff, though. God, this is hard to play football in. Away now. Lachlan. Nobody really that. Well, Reynolds is trying to get there, but. Oh. And Lachlan. According to the ref, didn't compete for the ball there. Do you look at it? Yeah, that's pretty nice. Eyes on the ball. Robin Viana, nice play, ladies. This will be launched in. We're cut out now, Reynolds. Trying to put that ball through for Christensen. Can she add to her tally? 25 goals already. a lot of running after balls down that end. It's always nice to obviously come away with a win, but when the conditions are like this, you just feel as if you want to come away even at nil-nil and take it back to your place on what will be a better, better conditions. You can also get a freak result when it's uh, blowing a hoolie like this. Some of the Malaga crew, not in the squad. AT down there. Vanessa Cocchirello cheering from Ontario for Maddie and the girls. Let's find a back of the net, ladies. A 
Absolutely. As the cameraman got cold hands. Oh, North Star cleaning. Now, it's camera operator these days, remember. Camera operator. Or if you were listening intently, so remember there'd be questions afterwards. So there's Ellie. And Ellie's, so the camera lady's hands are cold, but she's persevering. And the other thing is, what choice does she have? <laughs> Which is a tad harsh, but harsh but fair, I say. When they left Almanaca this morning, they weren't, they weren't prepared for this much wind. Lucky there's no rain, because you wouldn't have an umbrella left in this, would it? Christian sent, going to push, push on, push on. Queer, playing some nice football though, but in these conditions it's hard to do anything. It kind of it doesn't really equalise either team, it just makes it a lottery and according to the referee, that's another foul. I'm not seeing some of these. Hmm. Difficult to see what was that for. Maybe she was within two yards of her. Reynolds will see that out. Malaga throw. 33 minutes, 12 to go. That's the first third of the game gone. Referee says, come on, get on with it. He doesn't like the wind either. Oh, that beat everybody. Go, go, Maddie and the girls. So it's Nana and Pops from Albeda. Now, I'm pretty educated, he says jokingly. Albeda, I know, is actually in Canada. Well, I believe it is anyway. And it also makes sense that it's Matty. Canadian, but I've heard of Albeda, and I'll have to look up why I've heard of Albeda. Christensen surely being held back there, but sweeper keeper comes out, pushes it all forward. Must be famous for something. Well, famous for Nana and Pops, obviously. Rams, wish you had time there, but. We'll manage to get up, Lampen goes up for the throw.
You know, Tiara. No, she clears that well. Initially, gets it at the corner, but good bit of pressure. And then just the bounce and the wind that caught Tiara out there. Lachlan, but she goes back. She makes sure it safely goes out with the corner. And these corners, a bit dodgy. I mean, I just swing that into the middle. That's the way to defend it, girl. Just put it up there and let the wind swirl it in on a Spagnolo. Bugen high. Yep, like that. Rams clears, well played. Right behind it was Spagnolo, but well played. Kind of like that. That's good defending, you see? That's good defending as it comes in there. And Rams. Yeah, that's what she's in there for. Amongst other things. Substitution, quick turnaround, one pacer for another. Ah! North Star clean, Albeda in Valencia. There's an Albeda in. Oh, I'm going to have to look that up, aren't I? God. Maybe that's why I've heard of Albeda. It's in Valencia. Now, Berta in Canada. No, it was an Albeda, I'm sure it was. I'm going to have to Google it. Enthusiasm there, enthusiasm. Not an Albeda in Canada. <laughs> Maybe it's the uh, one in Valencia I've heard of then. But anyway, Nana and Pops are coming up for roast dinner. Oh, it just gets better and better. Nana and Pops, roast dinner, watching the football, watching granddaughter on the football as well. You always can tell the British living in Spain, roast dinner on a Sunday. And why not? Right. Just coming up to the 40 minute mark. It's difficult to say who's had the better of the half because this wind is so strong. It's just really just equal things out. I mean, most of the chances have been up the other end, but it'd be interesting to see what happens in the second half. My money says it'll just, they won't get out their own half in this wind. Rams clears. Now north, and now it comes back, and Spagnolo will do it. Just bounce around a little bit there. Sprinkler keeps us out. A throw. Viana getting in there. Now Lachlan. Oh, nice play, Viana. Ball down the line. Now Reynolds. Yeah, she does get there first time, but can't control it to get in there, but well played. Lampen round the outside. Does she keep it in? She says yes, it's there. No, and it had gone out, they said. But we'll play. KD is that run again. Petrifying the fullback. Obviously, we can't quite see, but it did look like it had gone out. Missed everybody and everybody missed it, but it had gone out anyway. <laughs> 42 minutes on the clock. First leg of the playoffs. 
Oh, nice play, Christian. She's going to hit it first time she has. Oh, just didn't quite find the back of the net. Well played, Hunt. Taylor. Good move by the girls here. One, look at that for a lovely little through ball. And on that occasion, the finish. Remember, the first of two legs. They play at home again. I assume in next Sunday. This is a midweek game. It is next Sunday. The girls have got the second leg. And that's going to run out. Look at that run out with that wind. And then when they win that one, it's on to the semi-finals. And then either a head-to-head -head or a one-off game for the final. I'm not too sure, actually, because I couldn't quite follow that. But it's all coming your way. And don't forget, we put the under-23s earlier. Feminino now, and then join us for 7.30 CET, that's Central European time, for CDAC seniors who are playing top of the league, Churiana. That's going to be a big game, you could say a six-pointer. That uh, goes into the net, that's a two-pointer, and Antiquira and make a couple of changes. Diana got in there and again. Oh, nice feet. Oh, but Gallac didn't quite read it. Lampen and Parker Lee some defending to be done, but Parker Lee turns that into attack straight away. Strongly goes back at them. Comes back, so we build again. Mikey. A minute ago, I don't think this ref's going to play any extras. That's my gut feeling. Probably just, probably just the one I expect. Badira clearing it up. One last chance for, oh no, I say before, in the first half. So let's uh, give it a minute. A bit maximum. And there we go. I said he wouldn't give any, and he didn't. So half time here in Antiquera. Nil nil. Not a lot to show you. So we're going to very quickly, you go for a coffee or a drink or a cocktail, whatever it is, quickly. We're going to duck down out of the blistering wind and be back with you very very shortly so don't oh sorry don't go away that was it's called Richard's fat fingers again don't go away we'll be with you shortly but we're gonna go and try and warm up a little bit so be back with you soon hang on now Right, hang on a minute, hang on. Yep, yeah, okay, we're good. You're off and you're good.
Yeah, so so in the UK, um, my first ever trip over to, to England, and um, you know, I think it's been been a success to be honest. Um, you know, we're finishing up now uh, our, our four day um, experience with a tour around Carroll Road. We brought the boys down here last night. Um, they got to see a live Premier League game against Manchester United, and then um, we're now getting to see the stadium where um, the Manchester United players and Norwich players were playing last night. So you know, unbelievable experience. Yeah, I think you know it's gone as, as well as it could have. You know, we have to review it now, and I mean, you can always do do better. Um, but for a first hit out, you know, I think we've done um, a sterling effort, and I can't thank the staff enough. You know, from um, from the media guys to, to Juan Carlos, um, Ryan, you know, has been an absolute absolute trooper. You know, I think everyone's really dug in, and it shows kind of what this project's about. That is, it's not just the glitz and glamour, but we've got people that uh, are really here for the cause and just to do the best for the players. The best thing probably about the academy is just being able to meet different footballers from around the world and play against the big teams that you wouldn't get to in Australia. The coaches here are absolutely amazing. They help me in everything, uh, teach me the movements, the runs, the passes, what to do and what not to do. Um, to be honest, I've become such a better player since I've arrived. If I had to describe football in one word, I would choose magical. It's just a sport that I couldn't describe how, how much it means to me and it, everything evolves around it. And it's just all I have, and it's all I'm gonna have, and it's all I wanna do for the rest of my life. I would say life, because I feel like my life moves around football, and it's just, I'm always watching football, I'm always playing football, and I just always have it on my mind. Probably a dream, you know. God's giving me the ability to play, so I'm enjoying it. Um, I keep working hard training, and I'll see where it takes me. I play football because I love it, just love playing. I love the, the game, especially Spanish football. Ah, for me, is like, is my life. Like, is my life. I think I have talent, but like I say, it's not enough for all players. Even if you have talent, you have to work, like through training and do everything you can to be at the top level. Basically just, um, if you want to make it, just go for it. Train hard, work hard, and don't give up. Uh, be able to adapt and change to things. Soccer is a very subjective sport and it's all about the coaches' minds and what they're trying to play, but it's really been a fantastic experience for me and I would recommend you come try it out yourself. Para mí es, es un honor de, de poder estar aquí de, en Balaídeo. ¿no? Ha sido un estadio que ha hecho muchísimos goles, ha hecho una carrera eh, magnífica. Estaba yo en el Málaga haciendo muchísimos goles. Entonces, ha tenido una propuesta, ha tenido una conversación con Horacio, con todo el directivo. Y para mí fue... Fue emocionante porque tú llegas en un equipo como Celta de Vigo. Para llegar hay un, un camino muy grande. Hay que trabajar mucho, hay que estar todos los días muy concentrado, disciplina, táctica, disciplina y todo. Entonces es muy importante tener es lo primero. Y aquí es lo más importante. Lo que el entrenador está explicando lo que tiene que hacer. Entonces yo lo comento siempre a ellos que hay que aprender. Estamos en no, no una fase de, de aprendizaje muy grande. La formación de ellos 
es más importante de la, de la academia. La academia, lo que más interesa la academia Málaga City, la formación. El objetivo de la academia es formar lo máximo que en el final de año tenemos la certeza que enseñamos a ese chico algo. Eso es lo más importante. Que él esté feliz. La felicidad de él es la felicidad de la academia. Obviously, here today, uh, the training ground at Sevilla, um, very, very impressive facilities, and uh, it's a very familiar place to us now. Tell us what it's like to be here for another year um, and what that means to the players out there. Yeah, for me, this is one of the favourite trips on the, on the Scotland Premier Scheme, you know, when we, we go around the club. This is when Mali was the first team we ever played, and Sevilla as well in the first season. So, we're lucky now to be able to say that every year since our inauguration in 2013, we, we visited this fantastic place. and. Not only as we're growing as an academy as a club, I've got to say as well that the things they're building here and the progressions they're making is for us to learn, to thrive off, and it inspires me to think that if a club of this size keeps striving for more and looking to do more and be better, you know, that means we've got to do that as an academy as well. And obviously we've come here today, a very exciting squad under the, you know, the reins of uh, Adrian Dominguez. Tell us how things have evolved over the years now and to be able to compete and really compete with these, these teams at the elite level, how does that feel? Yeah, I mean, obviously we've got the game going now, we're 1-1, one, one, one up and I think we, we dominate, you know, which to say that, you know, most 10 years ago would be impossible. You know, we came here and, and probably weren't left with our, you know, hat in our hands, so to speak, and um, to, to see the development and really the kind of calibre of coach that Adrian's been since day one, um, a pro-licensed coach. Uh, a fantastic friend, but also his thinking, the club, the way in which we're working. Last year, he was our senior team coach, won a promotion, um, blood, sweat, and tears, cutting for us. It was, you know, a, a really intense season. Now this year, he's working with the U18s to bring that kind of experience of someone who's relevant, who's gone and won a promotion in the senior football so recently at a semi-professional level, and now bring that down to younger players. I think it's a, a fantastic way that we work, and we're taking the coaches around and making sure. They stay fresh and they also bring new experiences to their players. And for obviously the lucky players out there today, um, tell us what, what you feel they can really take from an experience like this moving forward and how can that help them in their career? 
Yeah, I think for me it's, it's simple that, you know, you're now walking into not just Sevilla, which is a Spanish giant, it's a Champions League club. Um, the second you come to the gate, you feel it. It's different than when you go to other clubs that from the security, the professionalism, the way they receive you, the facilities they have, that you're playing against players here that hopefully one day will be playing in the Champions League. Um, you know, for our boys to see what that looks like, see where they stack up against that and see if they can compete, you know, I think for me is uh, the best learning, the best experience you can get. Obviously, you've just come off the back of 90 minutes playing against uh, La Liga Academy in Seville. Tell me how that felt and uh, what you've taken away from this uh, experience. It was good. It was a competitive game. I thought we controlled the game in stages. Second half, we controlled the game a bit more, but it was good to take the things that we've been doing in training into the game and compete with the top players. Can you tell us what it's like, obviously, being in these facilities, in the environment? You know, this is a Champions League club. How's that been and how's the experience been as a whole? It's been a good all-round trip. We had a tour around Sevilla, uh, which is a nice day out, and then come and compete with one of the top sides in Europe, which is cool. And obviously the, the schedule doesn't stop here next week. We've just got the news that you'll be heading to Celta Vigo to play another uh, top side. Uh, tell us what you can take from this game into the next. Uh, just the movements that we've been doing. Uh, again, competing with the top side. We've got another top side on next week, middle of the week, I think. It's a three-day trip, which will be good. As a team, take, this is just a start now. We've got to keep going and keep getting top six results against the players. Yeah. Felipe, you've just come back off of a 1-1 draw with Sevilla. Tell us about the performance and uh, what you take away from the game. Uh, I think we started the game really well, uh, building up the, up the back. Uh, we didn't let them play and uh, we got our first goal. Uh, first half ended really well and uh, second half, unfortunately, we conceded a goal from, uh, from a corner. But apart from that, I think our, our team uh, was was really good, and uh, I'd like to thank Sevilla for letting us come here and play. Um, but yeah, it was a bit bittersweet. I think uh, we could have taken more home, but I'm uh, I'm happy to play here at Sevilla. And obviously, a huge moment for yourself and and for the team as a whole, playing against you know a Champions League club in Sevilla. Tell us how the build-up to today has been. Were you nervous going into the game, or how did you feel? Uh, I take every game uh, the same way. Of course, Sevilla is a, is a big team, but. Um, I try not to be to be nervous. Of course, a little nervous always helps uh, to build up the game. And uh, the team was very focused. Uh, today, we we really played as a team, and we showed why why we came here and why we should uh, keep playing the way we, we are. And obviously, this is just the start of a, of a number of high-level games that you've played throughout the season. Uh, tell us what it feels like to compete on this stage, and, and your thoughts and expectations for the rest of the year. I think uh, I think our, our team is on a, a, a good run. I think uh, next time, next La Liga team we play or uh, any big team we play, uh, we're going to do even better. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just hope uh, we keep going the way we are and we're going to get more in the future. Welcome back. We are back, but... Oh, and the ref is here now, so all good stuff. Exciting, exciting playoffs. It's all happening, and now we are one half away from the end of the first playoff game of the leg of two. So we're, well, you could say we're a quarter of the way through. Halfway through this match, quarter of the way through the tie. As Joyce Coggins comes in from Sarasota, Florida. What a lovely place to be, because Sarasota, Florida has got some of the best beaches in the world. In fact, they've won some awards. Had some friends lived there and had the privilege of visiting. What a lovely place. So, referee counts everybody. He's happy, and we can't see the kickoff behind the thing, but we get the idea when it starts, and we are underway. And a big shout out to the Wilsons. Watching from the side of the road, waiting for the breakdown recovery. Come on, Malaga, they say. So even in times of need, people are still cheering on Malaga. Hopefully you're nice and safe on the side there. Sitting up on the bank, watching it with all your banners out. Right, so as Robin Viana says, wind advantage this time. It is, but it's, it's just still so difficult to play and control everything, but I'm sure it's going to be 
much we will use to our advantage and it will be absolutely excellent. And we would have cascades of goals and we'd be flying through. Now, I never put my message up in the first half, did I? My message. Big shout out from the FCMC family and my good self. We want to hear from you where you are and have you already done it. And we know that in the Netherlands, the Ra Mate Mikey Rhymes has been supported. Viana from California. Reynolds from North Carolina. Maddie from Valencia. Katie Lampard from Edmonton. I've got to say these places. Chilliwack and Fruitvale, I like them. Maddie again from Ontario. Maddie again from Alabada. And Sarasota, Florida. Joyce Coggins, great to have you on board. Thank you very much for being part of the FC MC Malaga family and the community which spreads around the world. So no changes at half time that we saw that we saw them doing or sneak on. So same 11 and a little free kick there. I mean, I was waiting for the advantage was the ref, but uh, I'm not quite sure personally, but there we go. Jason Galek, obviously in the Addy Supporters Club. Playing downhill now, let's get some goals. And Mar Sanchez Perez says, Vamos Antequera. Great to have you on board. And yeah, in this win, I didn't think that was ever going to trouble anybody. It is blowing a hoolie. It's too strong for us to be on the, uh, the scaffold. We can't put the scaffold up. Second camera, we just have to kind of like hold on with our feet. So we just pitch down with a one to make sure that we bring you something like he's right. Marilyn is trying to there to kick it. He won't stay still. Like an errant child, stay still. Go back, Viana. Just need to bring it down. Uh, there we go. Winning the ball, snapping away at the heels. Well played. And now Lampen gets the opportunity, goes down the line, but that's really well played from Viana. Winning that ball, taking it forward. Don't forget, we've already bought you one stream today. And 90th minute penalty, one loss, CDAC under 23, but CET time, 7.30. We're going to bring you CDAC seniors against Chiriana, top of the league. And if you want to watch more football in Malaga, that's where you're going to go. And at the same time, if you'd like to hear more, more of my dulcet tones, it will be on there as well. Yes, a man of many talents. So it should be around about 40 minutes between the games. Enough time for you probably... Maddie in Valencia to have that the uh, sorry North Star clean in Valencia to have the uh, the roast they're talking about here's the first corner and cleared away Nana, Nana and Pops are coming up for the roast it's the kids run for the ball they want to bring it they want to bring it back they're not cold they go thank you very much Park Elite the only player with the playoff experience from last season. Girls are pushed out. Rams. Oh, look at that. Silky skills in the crowd. Wins definitely a leveller. Rams again clears and uh, attempted 
there. Yeah, that's from the captain. She got a red armband on. From Anthe Keller. I wonder what the pronunciation is. K is a K and it's an Anthe Keller. So, what's the chance of Spagnola having an assist here? Or direct goal or assist? There we go. Not with that one. Probably out of hands kick. Oh, all cut out. Great play by Viana. And now bringing it forward. Lee. Oh, good ball down the line. Lampen. Is she going to be able to get on the end of it? Just everything's flying away with that wind and she can't. Galek trying to get on there and it's falling, it's falling, it was a handball in there, it would have been accidental. And now Lampen, she's going to have a go, Christensen wide. Now Christensen again, uh, pushes it in, I uh, just couldn't con control it there, Reynolds. Go back out and now Badira, uh, doesn't find her man now. Uh, Lachlan tries to find Viana and then to carry uh, Snapping away, picking all these balls up, but Lee will keep that in. Now my money says that most of this game will be played in the end of care of half. I think it'll all be up that end. They've got the wind and they've got obviously the uh, possession football that they can do with it. Mercy Sin says, let's go girls. Great to have you on board, Mercy. Mercy sin. I always think it's two words because I think of mercy for thank you. But great to have you on board, Mercy Sin, without me shortening it. Arms clears. Hmm. Enthusiasm, I'd say, ref. I'd say that we've had none of any of the 50-50s so far. We try and launch it in against this wind. Once again, not going anywhere. So obviously the green and white stripes, the, the most famous is sport in Lisbon, like I was saying. Oh, and ball, no. Well, we've got Celtic there hoops, aren't they? Uh, Verde Bremen, Real Betis, Hibs are the, the first green and white stripe team. Now Christensen crosses, looking for a runner. Oh, 
And they just clear. Wind just takes everything out of this game. So I wonder if it's real betters that they follow. I wonder if that's their inspiration, or is it Sport in Lisbon? Or go all the way back to Hibs. But Hibs are always um, solid green, I thought. Anyway, bring you a little bit of insight there. Christensen chasing it down, but nothing going to be coming from there. And a blast from the past. The midfield maestro from last year, the Birmingham City diehard supporter, now playing a trade at West Brom. That must be difficult. Keep right on. You can't say that when you're playing with West Brom. Rosie Embley says, let's go, Parks. Great to have you on board, Rosie. I hope it's all going well. I saw the penalty on social media the other day that you popped away. Still got it. So I hope it's all going well for you up there. Congrats. A member of the uh, league winning team last year just fell away from the final game in the playoffs. This year it's going to be different. We know that. Oh, referee, he likes that whistle, doesn't he? That was a Ravale. Yes. Calling for the uh, coach, you can see she's not sprinting on. Here comes the physio, or is it, can't be that serious. Just a bit of cramp. Right, roll her off, carry on. We don't need to stop. She's close to the side. There we go. Yeah, a round of applause for the crowd. These girls doing a lot of chasing, a lot of running. It's hard work in this wind. And the stripes, the Pacers stripes made a couple of subs. I reckon Pacers were only a thing in the UK about 20, 30 years ago, or maybe more. You don't see many more. So, need to kill that. Clear. Rams back to Spagnolo. Lachlan, back to North. Now Lampen, can she keep it in? Oh, it looks so heavy. And the kids run after the ball. Great fervor. Katie Lampen. Look at that nice high ponytail. Means it doesn't get in the way of the number, makes it easier for us commentators. Thank you. I actually got an email from a parent as well that said, uh, from one of last year's players, it says that, uh, I'm not going to say names because I can't remember. So hope they're not listening. Um, that she now wears the ponytail a lot higher after hearing my comments on the fact that it was covering the, uh, the number. I'll try and look it up and I can mention the name. And that, she called that square on. And uh, another little Ravalli from the referee with his whistle. Let's have a look. 
Did you get straight in the schnozzle? Oh, yes. Cool. You'd be pleased with that in a boxing ring, wouldn't you? She took that. She went down really well there, actually. I mean, I'm sure she's going to be all right. Jane Clark, is it a short pitch? No, it's just really incredibly windy. So, oh God, here comes the magic water. There's a nosebleed going on there. Yeah, I think she's going to be all OK. Hopefully she is. She gets up because then I'll replay it again in slow motion because it looked really good that the way she went backwards. Should we look at our coaching staff while we're... Uh, wait a minute. It's, it's very windy. No scaffold. Can't get the second camera up. It's too windy. And anybody ending up there? Right, so, and there is Miguel Aquino taking over after Mr. Jose Herrero. Disappeared, not disappeared, went off. Opportunity to train in La Liga. And there he is talking to, I think that's Mayor Ridge. That's Carolyn, actually. That shows how much I know. Good news is she's up and about and it's all fine. That was Carolyn and Riley actually getting ready to come on. Ref will do a drop ball. Yeah, when you're ready. If we could. Just waiting for the poor player to get off. Understandable. Hopefully it's not a broken nose, just a, a bloodied one. Lachlan. North. Nicely into Viana. Spins it across to Lee. She's got some space in front of her. Goes wide to Lampen. She Buffalo girls it round the outside and wins the corner. We'll play KD. Are we going to get the first goal right now? This corner has just got to be hung up in the middle there. The, and then the wind or Mikey or Taylor will pick up on it. Don't drill it in, just nice and lofted in there. That's it. Oh, cleared away. I think I've got to a bit more height and let it just sit there, kind of like as if you were playing a sand wedge. Right, and you just like chip it in there and you hang it up and you want the wind to bring it back in. I have a great imagination. My shots never work like that. Uh, North still forward. Not too high up the pitch. Uh, to release it earlier, can't afford to lose it there. And then the queer try and break, but we're well cleared there. And is Lampard down there? No. Referee. And some more into care of subs. So a quick look across there. There we go. Oh, and we're making a sub. And I can tell you, because I'm on the ball. That's Gallic that's going off. And coming on is Carolyn O'Reilly. So there we go. Carolyn O'Reilly is on for Addy Gallic. So Caroline's going to sit in that midfield where Gallic was. I think of Caroline more, normally more of a defensive midfielder. And Gallic has got the legs to go forward. So be interesting to see how they just line up now. But what do I know? Let's see if the kick doesn't go far, Christiansen. Very, very good at holding it up. Very good at taking the pressure off. There's the ball, Lampen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, so windy. Look at that flag in the corner there. It's like... 
Solid. And then the crew will collect that ball. I think they'll be happy to move away from here, nil-nil. Now, we played this team last year because I remember this kit. Oh, I don't know what the score was. It was, see look, this is the re research that we do here. It was 2-1 with Danny, Danny, oh. Well, Danny scored a screamer in the last two minutes to come away with a 2-1 victory. And my mind has gone completely blank trying to remember Danny Longlegs second name. <laughs> I know her nickname was Longlegs and she was called Danny. And now I've gone blank. Well, here's a chance coming forward. Reynolds. Oh, looking for O'Reilly. Let's push right up there alongside Christensen. Now Lee, will she hit it from range? Takes her time. The honour. Back to Rams, nice ball out, finding Reynolds. <laughs> nice turn out the crowd, cut out by Rams. <laughs> yep, now without seeing the ref, I would have said that. That goes against us because we don't get the 50 50s. But this one we've got. I really don't see what that was for. We'll take it. There we go. Right. North. Lachlan, space to run, but wins the throw. Go again. Christian Soon. Oh. Snipe comes of it, and the keeper's taking his time. Spagnolo goes long. Can she go for the assist? Oh, it's just going to be really difficult. It's just really difficult. It's just all you can do is just play through. On the, it's very tempting to think you're going to get one over the end, but it's always going to be too heavy. So we're into the last quarter of the uh, second half. Well, of the game actually, the la second half of the second half, but the last quarter of the game. Which means we're into the coming to the end of the first half of the tie, because remember we play them again next week, next Sunday. So don't forget to follow all the social media for those details.
Opportunity gone Reynolds. Now, hit it. Uh, Christiansen, if she's onside. Ah! Well played, Hannah Reynolds here. Strong, strong. Now, Viana. She's onside. Definitely onside in my book. But it doesn't matter what I think. The referee said it was offside, but we missed anyway, so it's not really a miss. Irene Moscoso Palanque says final result nil nil. Well, I don't think you're going out on a limb there, Irene. Although that was very close, that last one. Reynolds playing well here, but she's going to run out of pitch. Yeah. Just so difficult to do anything. It is like you're running downhill. Substitution being made. More changes for Antakara. So we were asked earlier if it was a cold wind or a warm wind. The sun's gone. It's a blinking cold wind now. It's cold. It's nippy. The wind's blowing a hooli. And when it gusts, oh, dear oh me. Reminds me of that song. Sends a shiver down the backbone. I'm shaking all over. Okay, come on, stop bouncing the ball now. We have to take the throw. <laughs> Taylor wants the throw, but mm. back to differ, but she gets the ball back now. Vamos! Says North Star. Oh, no, it well taken down. Brilliant play there. I think that was Badira. Now Christiansen goes back across. Oh, and looked like O'Reilly could have gotten the end of it. I like O'Reilly being up front. It's working well. There's a quick look across, and the keeper had to be there. Normally it's Mayor Ridge that comes in up front when Christiansen's not playing. Here we go again, Lampen going down, pulls it across, nobody there, and Aquera just clear. 15 minutes to go. And cleared out. Star thinks I need a, a Kalahijo. It's a coffee drink with a hard liquor. And I'm just obviously I knew that. I'm just telling that for uh, the adoring fans to make sure they realise what it was. But I wouldn't say no. Nice little Irish whiskey. Although I've got a tendency for the uh, espresso martinis when it's a bit uh, a bit hotter. Not like the coffee. Captain is going to battle on. Now, at Malaga, you're not taught to complain. You're not taught to moan. You're taught football. Ten months a year, Lampen goes down the outside, wins the throw. And if you watch the uh, Verop game the other day, the under-19s, you see the goal line clearance by Pierce Norris. And he then clatters into the post big time and then just gets up. And carries on and it's kind of like testament to one Pierce Norris it doesn't take you know 
They're no prisoners anyway and just gets on with it. But what you're told at Malaga, just get on with it. Don't moan at the ref. Don't feign the fouls. And he did it. And uh, I'm thinking of writing the Atletico Madrid and asking them to watch it. And if they, some of their players, maybe after their performance against Man United in the second half, could um, take on um, a little bit of that. Pierce Norris. And then later in that game, Callan Haspel took a boot to the head. Just carried on. And as you should. And well done, those boys. And well done, Malaga. Oh, Riley, 50-50, but won that nicely. Well, I know you've been waiting to find out the update. Everybody's waiting to hear. And the recovery van has finally arrived for the Wilson clan. And Marie says, but they're still watching, waiting for Ella to be get on. Here's Chance Christensen. I'm not too sure if I'm on the bench. It's one of those games where I've got my nice warm tracksuit on and I'm sitting on the bench and I'm shouting from the wind whether or not I'd just like to probably keep it that way. But glad you're safely recovered. O'Reilly, but anything in the air, anything that doesn't go straight to a player, it's a bit of a nightmare. Because it's blowing strong here in Antikara, north of Malaga. It's not just the rains on the plains, it's the wind rushing down through the valley. Right, as you can see with that kick there, at the moment, it's just died off. I say it's died off, but you see the corner flags are still blowing a little bit. Well, no, it's dropped. So it's dropped right down at the moment. Rams clears, Christensen. Yes, it's died, but look, you can see the wind in the corner there. Still pretty strong. It's not gusting like it was, but it's strong. Lee crosses it. Oh, straight to the keeper. And unlucky. It's worth a go just to get it in there. Cause a problem. Adira cuts out. Now Riley. Now Christensen is behind. Audacious lob possibly all the way across. Anybody going to meet it? Oh, unlucky Reynolds. Well played. That's probably the closest we've got. Once again, Lampen, nice little turn. Played it in and that's what Christensen's good at. Just getting in behind there. And what a great ball across. Oh, and the two of them just couldn't make it happen. And looks like Reynolds took a little bit of a knock with that as well. Yeah, he's getting a bit of treatment. Oh, it just looks like it's a bit of cramp. Roll over, let's carry on, come on. People have got roast dinners booked. We can't keep Nana and Pops waiting for the roast dinner. She's all right. She's good. She's big and strong. She's a Pierce Norris. Get on with it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait for the whistle. And he likes his whistle. Looks like we're going to be having another sub warming up on the side. They didn't quite see who it was, but... Maybe one last change. And Reynolds penalised there. <coughs> so 
Excuse me. Try and turn my mic off. I missed it. You know, Christensen brings down under control, gets down there, but just nothing works down there, unfortunately. We're going to see another change. Hannah Reynolds is coming off. I haven't seen who's coming on yet. And it is Evelyn Selsa. Of course it is. Evelyn Selsa is on. Oh, controversial ref. Surely something in that. Let's have a quick look at it anyway. Well, she definitely turned her player. There we go again. I think the Celts are coming on very much the attacking midfielder. Scored some good goals actually as well. But now into Quera, a rare excursion up the field. And take no prisoners, Tiara Lachlan. Cleared up. Nothing's quite falling for us at the moment. Trying to bring it down, just bobbling around everywhere. And there it goes. Lee will go long. Selsler. Lachlan from distance, possibly. Oh, that is definitely a free kick. She's tackled from the left and it's straight in there. Yeah. That's definitely a tackle that took him out. It's all hands to the pump now. Player's going down. But Tiara. See Tiara just getting some treatment. Is she okay after that flying? Probably just winded, actually, just arms up and just trying to breathe again. Nick, the physio, doing a great job. And they're checking she's all all right. And she is. She's a strong one. Well done. Tough chick. It. Tough chick. And at... Now, there's a uh, yellow card for one of the Antiquera players. But most importantly, it looks like Maddie North is going to take care of this. It's an opportunity to try and open up the scoring. In fact, you know, we see Maya Ridge in the background warming up. Maybe she'll get a run out in the last five minutes. Look at that, look how close they're getting. Look, get, move away. No, just move away, Anticare. You don't need to put your foot on the ball like that. It's going to go on the whistle. Yeah, book them. More yellows going. Just get away so we can have a free kick. Grow up. 
Yeah, he's uh, sorting it out there. Come on, just move back so we can... Nana and Pop's coming for a roast, and that was 47 minutes ago, that message. They can't wait forever. That's one to buy McDonald's. It's interesting. I think that's Viana. Bella Viana fancies this or Maddie North. Here we go. Excitement building. The wind behind. The ride is over it. Bella. Oh, unfortunate. I think you just opened the wind to do a lot more with it. Lamp and Kinkuna. It's such a difficult game, this one. I said it in the first half, you come away at nil nil in a game like this, you just kind of say, yeah, let's have another go next week when it's not blowing a hooli. I know that Andy Quirrell will just fancy it when they go there, but long range, straight at the keeper. I know they'll fancy it. Christensen getting in there, picking it up. Maybe an opportunity. There's going to be two or three minutes extras as well. Oh, just slowed down. Lachlan pulled up. Rams pushes it back in. Now Christensen. Oh, Wamble ref. No, it says can. I don't think there's any... I mean, you can never be sure, but there's any danger any carrier will score in this second half because they're not getting anywhere near there. But it would be nice if we could just, uh, oh, referee saying another sub, is it? Yeah, and the carrot making a couple of changes. Oh, so are we. That's Mayor Ridge coming on. I'm sure it is. And Mayor's coming on for... Can't be coming on for... For Evelyn, because she's only just come on. So it's Bella. So Maya Ridge on for Bella Viana. So Miguel going for the victory here. Throwing on the big guns up front. See what they can sort out. Free kick, right, so now, right, let's launch forward. Lachlan. Dismissed everybody and gone through to the keeper. So that's the 90, I reckon there's gonna be three. He didn't play any in the first half, but it should be four, but I reckon it'll go three. So, let's wait and see what we get. Oh, sit down, sit down, sit down next to me. Got all the way back, Spagnolo. North Star says, you don't need to play dirty, you can play good. You can now, is this an interesting one? Oh, that could have just gone the other way, couldn't it? With a bit of wind. And yeah, the keeper was off. 
on target. That was in. Come on, Malaga. Last little bit. Oh, well played, Badera. Now Lachlan. It's got Ridge in the middle, got Christian in the middle. Oh, she's got a touch to it, but just basically nothing coming from it. And the dying embers of this game. Chara will play Maddie. It's the one last chance in here. Christensen puts it over the Lampen, but doesn't happen. Oh, I reckon just go for it. Just hit it. And the query clear. Lee. The running behind. The sales over. Doesn't find it. Riley from range. Oh, not quite there. North Star. Come on, girls, believe. We're believing. Antiquera hanging on for dear life. Parker again. Oh, between Parker and Katie, couldn't quite keep it in. That's three minutes, as I say, I thought we might play a bit more. Sit down, freak. It says that on the back of your shirt, I'm allowed to say that. Go on, duck down. Thank you. And the queer at one last chance, just cleared away. And the ref's getting there. Francisco from double area says something about saluting you. Once again, I'm not going to shout it out in case I got it wrong. No, it's getting nippy now. The ref says play or nothing in that. And the care ref suddenly having a Hot five minutes, or two minutes. Rams clears. Tiara. It's for no low now. Go long, let's see if we get an assist. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen, there's no time for that. It's ended here. In an incredibly windy Antiquera. Nil nil. Not many highlights. In fact, let me confirm that. No highlights. And uh, it's freezing. We're going to wrap this up nice and quickly. I'm just going to say thank you to the Netherlands, California, North Carolina, Valencia, Edmonton. I'm going to say it. Chili Whack and Fruit Fowl. Orlando, Alibada and Sarasota. Thank you very much for being with us. We are back still at 1930 CET for the seniors against first versus second. That's a big one. Now, we want to get down from here because, my God, it's cold with it blowing in. So, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you later.